So in the next part, uh, we'll discuss what are the parameters which may affect the value of acceleration due to gravity or variation of acceleration due to gravity. So on the first part, uh, we are going to discuss what is variation of acceleration due to gravity with uh, altitude or with respect to height. Let's say we are going to find out the value of acceleration due to gravity at a height, height h above the earth surface. Let's say which is represented by gh and uh, we can write the equation for that it is gm over here you can assume the total mass is concentrated at the center so if you are if calculating the distance from the center it is r plus h so you can write acceleration due to gravity at a height h is gm divided by r plus h the whole square and if you like to represent it as like acceleration due to gravity on the surface on the surface we already discussed that acceleration due to gravity is gm divided by r square which is in general represented by g naught so this gh can be taken as nothing but gm and if you are taking r outside we can write it as r square into 1 plus h divided by r the whole square so that we can write this gh is equal to this gm by r square can be uh, written as nothing but g naught divided by 1 plus h divided by r the whole square. So this equation will give the variation of acceleration due to gravity with respect to height h above the earth surface. Now sometimes we'll use a modified form of this equation which is valid only for small values of uh, h. So if you're considering a condition if h is much less than that of r then the value of uh, h divided by r will be much less than that of 1 then we can uh, use binomial expansion over here from this equation gh is equal to g naught divided by 1 plus uh, h by r which can be written as g naught into 1 plus h divided by r raised to minus 2 and we know that according to the binomial equation uh, that is 1 plus x raised to n can be written as 1 plus n into x if the value of x is much less than that of 1. So by using the same concept we can write over here it is g naught into 1 minus 2h divided by r. So this one is uh, another uh, form of variation of acceleration due to gravity with respect to height h but just remember that this equation is uh, valid only when the value of h is much less than that of r otherwise we should use this equation so we can say that as the height increases the value of acceleration due to gravity decreases so we can calculate what is the decrease in value of g at a height uh, h so if you are considering a situation if h is much less than that of uh, r then we already discussed that uh, we can use that equation g naught uh, into 1 minus 2h by r for the calculation of uh, acceleration due to gravity so our aim is to find out over here what is the change in value of g that is g on the surface minus g at a height h so which is g naught minus g naught into 1 minus 2h divided by r so we'll get the value of change in g is equal to nothing but uh, g naught into 2h divided by r or in some question they'll ask to find out the fractional change so we can write uh, the fractional change the fractional change that is change in g with respect to the actual value is equal to 2h divided by r again just remember that we'll use this equation only when the value of h is much less than that of r. 